Welcome to the Jekyll69 channel where shit is always interesting. Today's date is the 17th of February 2015 and this is Hits on Twitter. So starting off today, it is Ed Sheeran's birthday and there are loads of people up on Twitter sending out their wishes, congratulations and thank yous to Ed Sheeran for giving us some of the best chilled out music that has been in the charts for a very long time. With his songs like 18, Lego House and all the other great dance tracks that he has created and produced along with his very diverse and entertaining live shows where he actually sounds a hell of a lot better than he does on CD, something that is normally quite hard to achieve and yet Ed Sheeran makes it seem flawless. He is definitely an inspirational, hardworking and talented artist. So happy birthday Ed Sheeran, you have turned 24. And from one birthday to an unfortunate and untimely death, Leslie Gore, the writer and singer of the song It's My Party, has died at the age of 68. She wasn't that very old when she died. She was a singer and songwriter, a music producer and an activist and worked hard throughout her lives trying to enrich people's lives and make theirs better. She was a truly inspirational and inspiring woman and our wishes and best thoughts go out to all your family members and the people who knew you. Leslie Gore, RIP at the age of 68. You will be sorely missed. We also have one of the bigger fashion trends going around on Twitter. This week is the beginning of New York Fashion Week, which has already seen a host of celebrities like Paris Hilton take the runway to show off some of this year's summer's fashion. Just in time for fall and for the shops like Primark, Topshop, and other fashion shops like that to know what people will be looking at and what their fashion tastes will be to know what they're looking for when they go out and buy from other lesser known brands and lesser known fashion icons and fashion designers because this is how fashion works you get the fashion weeks and the fashion shows at the beginning of the year and at the end of summer in Paris, Milan, New York and London and everybody goes along to see it including the people that manage and run these high street fashion shops so that they know what the style is for this year and then the winter and so on and so forth but you do know what they say about fashion it's something so ugly they have to change it every six months and going from a very fashionable New York to staying within America for Jeff We Can. This is the lung cancer disease riddled icon that an American TV show has created to show the downfalls of smoking. Many people are saying it should be the new face of Marlborough and also tipping their hats to such a great piece. It's informative, funny, and it's in cartoon form, and they're really glad that people are taking a notice of this still and still trying to make an impact on people's lives to let them know just how bad smoking can be. Although there's still no direct relation to actually smoking tobacco and cancer because smoking well, that's going to give you lung cancer anyway. It's why you don't stay in a room full of smoke. And all the other stuff that they put into cigarettes, like the tar and the stuff they mix it with and the paper itself, all that is carcinogenic and that can cause cancer. But tobacco itself, so smoking through a pipe, that hasn't led 100% directly to 
the causes of cancer. But it's still not a good idea and definitely something that you shouldn't really do because inhaling smoke into your lungs is just not a good idea. So if you want to give it up, now would be the best time to do it as it is Lent. For the next 40 days, people are giving up something that they like or they are thinking about something that they would wish to change or they're trying to sort their own lives out. This is the 40 days that Jesus spent on top of the mountain in the wilderness. So it is a very Christian thing, but it is so ingrained in our culture that even the non-Christians are taking a note of Lent and using it to find ways to better themselves within the next 40 days. And even they are tipping their hats down to what the Pope said about Lent and the fact that it is a time for meditation and a time for being pensive and thoughtful and trying to bring the world together through how we think and what we do and what we take into our bodies to push out all the toxins and this is what we people so see you know Jesus didn't use it for this exact reason and humanity wouldn't use it for the exact reason that Jesus did so we use it to give up something and for Christians it's also to remember what Jesus did so now is the beginning of a Lent and for you to say goodbye to something you love. But before you do that, remember that Pancake Day has just been and gone, and now it is Fat Tuesday. So anything you want to scoff down your gullet and your gob, whether it be burgers, or meat, or a bit of carpet, or anything really, dessert, in my case, it would be a bucket load of cookies. Rolo cookies, um, Yorkie cookies, Smarty cookies, Cadbury's donuts, they are lovely, especially caramel donuts, mm, yeah, just give me bucket loads of them, in fact give me a whole truckload of donuts and cookies and you will see it disappear within about an hour, because I can scoff them down pretty damn quick and I have no idea exactly when I get fat. I can just keep shoveling it in. It's great. And speaking of fat heads, Channel 4 have just aired a documentary called The First 100 Days of UKIP, which prophesizes what would happen if UKIP got into power. And loads of people are on Twitter really angry and complaining about this documentary not because they agree with UKIP or they think that UKIP getting into power would be a good idea because even though some of the points they have do have a lot of research and weight behind them the way they say it makes them tits which they most of UKIP are but this documentary took it too far and the fact that you know that on an election year you're not going to see the first hundred days of Greenpeace or the first hundred days of the Conservative Tories or Lib Dems then yeah it's just attack on UKIP and trying to get it so people don't vote for them and to do this they used a help for heroes flag in the demonstration where the demonstrators were racist and those people are thinking, hang on a minute, you're telling Britain and the UK and the world that to be patriotic to your country means that you're a racist? No, 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 no. You can't do this. So therefore, Channel 4 are getting slammed for this documentary and Ofcom are receiving quite a lot of complaints into their office about this absurd documentary which again does have a lot of evidence behind it but the way it's they say it and the way they take it across to the people just makes them look like twats
This has been hit on Twitter for the 17th of February 2015 on the Jekyll 69 show. Remember to check out and subscribe to my channel for some more interesting shit. And until next time, take care and keep smiling. This is the Jekyll 69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter, film reviews, my life with Android and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment. And until next time, keep your shit interesting.